What's going on guys, Mecha Ishii here. We're going to be taking a look at some of the Tomy Deluxe Pokemon figures. Let's do it. Welcome back guys, another action figure review and I have three Pokemon figures by Tomy in Machamp, Mewtwo and Greninja. Now I don't usually collect these figures but browsing the aisles in Toys R Us I saw fully articulated Pokemon figures that are in the 5 to 6 inch scale and I had to pick them up. Now ever since Pokemon Go, the love for Pokemon has grown tremendously ever since the Pokemon Red, Blue, Gold and Silver days and here we have Machamp the evolved form of Machop, we have Mewtwo, and then we have Greninja, who is the evolved form of uh, Grenadier, and I think he's the evolve of Froggy, or Froggy, I forget how they say it, but that's from Pokemon XY, I think. My daughter would know a lot more than me on that. They all come in the standard blister car with a big giant bubble with the figures enclosed. You see the Pokemon logo, everything in the back is nice and blue. You see an appearance from Pikachu there, and all three have a sticker saying multiple points of articulation for battle play, AKA action figures. Now at the back of Mewtwo's box here, we have Pokemon, gotta catch them all, and all of the boxes do say that. Mewtwo unleashes its full power into battle, and Mewtwo here has four 14 points of articulation, pretty cool. And then you see the other figures in this wave. Now I did not pick up this Ash and Pikachu, I was more interested in the bigger Pokemon, which you see before you. Now Greninja has 12 points of articulation, pretty cool for the ninja Pokemon. And my favorite of the bunch, Machamp, has 19 points of articulation, which is pretty impressive for Pokemon toys. All right, so let's take Machamp, Mewtwo, and Greninja outside of their boxes, and let's see what they're all about. Now, along with these figures, you also get this very cool looking poster that has all of the figures in a Tomy lineup, and you can see how well they scale in with one another. For instance, we have Frogadier here, and you can see he's a lot smaller than Greninja, who he evolves into. There is also a checklist at the back of this poster, and like they say, gotta catch them all. So here are all three outside of their packaging, and they all stand around the five inch mark, with Greninja and Mewtwo being about five and a quarter, and Machamp being a little bit less. For you six inch action figure collectors out there, if you really wanted to pick these guys up, I think Machamp and even Greninja are probably most accurate to scale, whereas Mewtwo should be probably seven inches if they were following that. Either way, for some Pokemon action figures, these guys look pretty cool. So let's take a closer look at them. So let's start things off with Greninja, the ninja Pokemon that is a dark and a water type. And of course he appears just as he does in the cartoon with the obvious tongue wrapped around his neck and his ninja looking inspired gear. Now Greninja's tongue is sculpted in place. Unfortunately, it does not unwrap but it does look pretty cool with that fleshy pink paint application of the tongue. You can see it kind of has a bulbous area towards the tip, so he does use that as a weapon. Now he is done mostly in that dark blue. We do see a lighter blue by the webbing across his ears and his fin there. They did sculpt the fin nicely down the middle, and I do like the sculpt of his ears. Nice paint application with the yellow going all the way down towards the top of his tongue, and you can see his eyes there in the mix. And they did use the same color pink that they used for his tongue at the center of his eyes. You got little touches of white here, just a very cool character design of Greninja. You got some more yellow at the front of his torso, and his upper torso and his arms are done in that glossy plastic, which differentiates from the lower legs. You can see his blue should be the same color as his torso, but it is much lighter. We do have some more yellow at the webbing of his fingers, and you can see how nicely sculpted those fingers are. Some more touches of white by his forearm. He's got a little tail sticking out there. Good work with the sculpt of the ninja stars on each of his thighs, nicely painted in the same light blue that we see at the top of his head. And by his knees, they also did a great job of painting the white all within the rounded skull. And the cool looking skull continues on all the way down his hind legs. You can see the back of the foot and here where he's able to stand where he has the flatter platform at the tip of his toes. And again, you have the yellow and the blue separated. Now again, these Pokemon toys are loaded with articulation. So we have a rotation at the top of his head right above the cut of his tongue skull. We do have a 360 shoulder swivel and then we have a hinge that allows for extension all the way up all the way down. We also have a bicep swivel, which has a hinge that allows for great 90 degree range of motion, even downward. And we do have a rotation at his wrist. Now Greninja has this nice diaphragm joint, which allows for rotation all the way around, plus some tilting action and crunching action forwards. He can arch his back, go side to side, so great range of motion there. He does have a ball peg for his hip, so he can kick his leg a good amount upward. He can go to the side a decent amount and kick all the way back like that. I mean, he is a ninja after all. I guess you can call this a knee rotation. As you can see, it goes all the way around. And then he has his hinge, which allows a great range of motion upward. 
and downward to help him stand up. And now we get to the super strong Machamp. He is solid, guys, even though he is the shortest of the bunch. But he's always been a favorite of mine because, I mean, take a look at him. If you know me, you know I love wrestling, and this guy is the champion. Great likeness to the way he appears in the cartoon by that head sculpt. You can see his lips are all done in that yellow. Nice job with the very pink tongue, and you even have a yellow outline surrounding it, so not bad at all. His eyes are nicely sculpted. You got the red right at the center. And then you have these three fins, again, nicely sculpted and painted in that dark gray goes all the way down to the back of his head now he is covered in teal but what I'm really impressed about is how well they sculpted his very thick and muscular body over this five inch frame I love the sculpt of his arms you can see his fists are nicely sculpted especially his fingers his musculature on his chest going down to his heavyweight championship belt or whatever you want to call it nicely painted with the yellow at the center you have the red paint applications of that P for Pokemon then you have his belt all the way around and then you have those notches which are done in the yellow the yellow's kind of faded off could have been done a little bit better but it's not too bad then we have his thick muscular legs going all the way down to his nicely sculpted toes now again he has 19 points of articulation he does have the extra set of hands but his head does rotate all the way around so none of that extra muscle gets in the way now each one of his arms does have a shoulder rotation and a hinge which allows for extension upward like that let's do all of his arms up I mean, take a look at that. That is so awesome, and they're really not getting in the way of each other. Each of his arms also has a single-jointed elbow, so he can really flex those biceps for you. And, of course, a rotation at the wrist. He can flex his chest muscles for you guys just for the camera. Let's put it all together. Now, his hip joint is a ball pick, so he can go to the back and forward a very good amount, but he is limited kicking up to the side. He does have a knee hinge, but as you can see by the sculpt of his leg, it's already in a bent pose, so you're not going to get that much movement going backwards. Now, he does have a hinge at his ankle, so he can have down with flexion about that much he can go up a little bit more and he does have a rotation at the ankle as well and here is Mewtwo the psychic Pokemon he is an amazing powerful Pokemon and they have done a great job again of recreating his look here in action figure form I mean he looks like he just jumped right out of the cartoon take a look at that head sculpt great job with the paint applications of his eyes you can see the purple eyes nicely centered even have the white painted air reflecting the light and the black at the center of his pupils got that little line for his mouth he got two nostrils there I love the sculpt of his ears and you have that loop that connects the back of his head to his back some sculpted detail by his upper torso his arms are nicely done just as it would appear in the cartoon and you can see these three bulbous prongs at the tip of his fingers and his other hand is sculpted in a fist nice smooth sculpt and paint applications here separating that lavender color with the darker purple I love the way the big thighs look with the hind legs there and his toes are nicely sculpted and then we have this snake like tail that goes all the way around it's very thick and you can see a lot of articulation cuts which I'm gonna get to in a little bit but a very awesome looking Mewtwo. Now for articulation Mew does have a lot of range of motion. You can see he is limited somewhat in his rotation of his head only because of that little port at the back there but he can raise his head up a good amount and look down as well. He has rotation of his shoulder all the way around in a hinge that also great extension upward and downward. He has a very tiny bicep swivel cut and a hinge at the elbow which allows for 90 degree flexion upward and even a little bit downward. Now as with Greninja he also has a diaphragm joint which allows for rotation all the way around. He can crunch forward, he can arch his back, he can go side to side so very cool posability here. Now he has some uniquely sculpted thighs but there is limited movement going upwards goes back down but we do have a rotation that goes all the way around like that we do have a hinge here by his hind leg that goes backwards and can go up a decent amount he is loaded with articulation at his tail you can see one two three four cuts of articulation at the sculpt so he can rotate all the way around like that even going up a little bit further and then even further than that and then he has one right at the tip so you should have a lot of fun posing Mewtwo around. Now before I bring the video to a close, I did want to give you guys a comparison with the Tomy Mewtwo on the left up against the D-Arts Mewtwo on the right. Now the D-Arts Mewtwo is very expensive and as you can see the sculpt is very similar. It is a little bit smaller but it does have far superior paint applications, has a ton more articulation but it's really meant for adult collectors whereas the Tomy Mewtwo on the left Kids can play with it, it's not going to get too damaged. The plastic is pretty sturdy and you can get it for only about 13 bucks at a Toys R Us. So I definitely wanted to show that to you guys. So either way you go, I think it's a win. So there you have it guys, my video review of the 5 inch Tomy Pokemon figures. Now these are really cool action figures and they're pretty much in line with the kind of scale of figures I like to normally collect. I mean yes they're in the 5 inch scale, but for some of these Pokemon in the line, that's pretty accurate. And I can definitely see myself getting a collection of these, and I do think they're worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up and check out my channel for other reviews I have done. They have so many cool things coming your way, so make sure you all like, subscribe, comment and share. You know what to do. Peace.